I realized I haven't done a video in a while that has to do with saving money and being organized with personal finances. So I thought this is a good time to do it. So in this video, we will talk about some money saving tips and tricks, especially if you're on a tight budget so you could get organized with your personal finances and meet your financial goals this year. If you are new here, my name is Rosanna Hernandez and this is the Efficiency and Organization YouTube channel. Everything that has to do with being productive, efficient, organized, well-planned to be able to achieve your goals in every aspect of life, whether it's in your personal life, in your career, if you are an educator, like a teacher, if you have a small business, homemaker, you're retired. So whatever walk of life you're in and do things, accomplish a lot more to have a more fulfilled life. And if this sounds good to you and you want to be in our community, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you could be notified when videos come. Okay, so let's talk about saving money. Number one, you have to decide how much you want to save. You have to have like a goal, you guys. You can't just say, I want to save money. You just have, you have to have a more precise goal because that's what's going to motivate you to actually do it. So do you want to save $1,000 for emergencies this year? Do you want to save $1,000 or $2,000 to buy a car like what I'm trying to do? So come up with a goal and a deadline. Once you have your goal and your deadline, what you're going to do is come up with some action plans. How do you actually get there? And this is where I'm going to help you in this video. So I just talked to you about a nice organized system. And by the way, I have a form on efficiencyandorganization.com that you can download. And I'll have the link down in the description box. And the form is like a nice systematic way of writing down how much you want to save by when. So your financial goal and what the action plans are, how you're going to get there, what kind of things you're going to do to get there. And what's nice about it is you also monitor. So once you do the, get the form, you fill it out and you could do this on by yourself. You don't have to even download the form. Just use the format to come up with one by yourself. You have to put it somewhere where you could refer to it once a week to see how well you're doing. That's the problem with a lot of people. They set goals, but because they don't hold themselves accountable, they don't achieve the goal. So you want to make sure that that paper is somewhere where once a week you're like telling yourself, am I doing this or am I not doing this? Okay, so what can you do? What kind of habits do you need to change? Do you need to break in order to save the thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, whatever it is that you're trying to save for? Let's talk about food from restaurants. If you are getting food, eating from restaurants and like fast food or otherwise, how many times a week are you doing it and can you curtail it? I would say do it once a week because all that extra money, you're going to see how much it adds up. It's going to be like $100, $200, if not more. And that money you can use to put in a savings account. So every time you have the urge to go and get food from somewhere, why don't you take that and transfer it to one of your accounts, transfer it to your savings account. You're going to see how quickly that money is going to rise up in order for you not to deprive yourself, because I'm like totally against that. Like, I'm not going to tell you for a whole year, don't eat from any restaurant for a whole, for a whole year. Don't go out to like for any entertainment venues and stuff. You can't do that. You guys, because life is short, right? So we have to live, but the trick is to get organized and do that kind of stuff on a much smaller scale. So that way you're meeting the financial goal that you set. Sodas, cut sodas, no sodas, no lemonades. You don't need that stuff. If you want, drink it like once a week. That's it. Not only is it more healthy for you to stick to water, but it's also going to help you save. So go in, when you go to the store and you see soda, you want to buy it. How much is it? Six, seven, eight dollars. Okay, we'll put, take that money and put it in the savings and you're going to see how much is going to add up over a course of time. And by the way, before I forget, I have a book that came out. It's called Organization and Efficiency in Personal Finances, where I give so many helpful hints and ideas. I even have checklists for ways in which you could be a lot more organized with your personal finances, especially if you're in the middle class or going into the middle class. Workouts. Do you have a membership to a fitness club? Instead of that, just do it in your neighborhood. You're, you want to run? Go in the neighborhood. 
dumbbells and exercise equipment, you'll be surprised people give those things away. When we got our elliptical, I just happened to mention to my coworkers that I was looking for one. And one of the teachers said, well, I have one that's just sitting around that I don't use. All you have to do is come pick it up. So we just rented a truck from Home Depot and we went to her house and we picked it up. Free elliptical. So put the word out there and see if anybody has equipment for like a super low price that you can get and just put it in at the home because you'll save a lot of money that way. See, I published an article recently that gives 25 ideas for how to save. And if you have some ideas yourself that you don't see in the article, please feel free to share it in the comments because like I said, we're a community and we need to learn from each other. So just make sure that you put it in the comments so we can learn from what you're doing to save money. Let's talk about credit cards before I end the video. Now, I had three credit cards and all three had balances. I was paying 200 for one, 250 for one, and I think another 300 for the other. And it was getting a little too much. So because I had pretty good credit, I ended up applying for a, one credit card from the credit union. And guess what I did? I put all three into one and I started making $400 payments. So that helped me tremendously because now all that other monies that I was paying one to this and to this and this, I was able to combine it all into one. And that way I could save the money that I'm paying into so many of them. So I know that that's with credit cards, that's like the number one thing, the debt you want to get rid of because of the interest and stuff. And so that's my goal now because everything is combined to just one credit card. I'm not adding more. I have changed my lifestyle. So I'm not accruing more credit card pay in interest or uh, balances. And then on top of that, one of my goals is to pay it off as soon as possible. So like I said, be sure to check out the article because I have 25 ideas there. I just don't like to make my videos too long and that's why I wanted to stop it here. And when you go on the website, please subscribe. There's a lot of good information on six focus areas. Personal finances is one of them. There's personal life, small business ownership. There's even leadership. In every aspect of life, you could live more efficiently, more productively, and that way you can achieve a lot of your goals, a lot of the things that you want out of life, you can do. And again, please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the notification bell so you could be notified when new videos come out. I appreciate you being with me and I will catch you in the next video.